Do you believe that you can heal yourself? Too often we give our power away to something outside of ourselves and rarely, if ever, trust and tap into our innate healing power and intuition. Everyone has this capability to heal in ways we never thought possible. It's your sovereign right to claim and have true health and lasting wellness. Now, here is the host of the Dr. Dolores Show, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to another episode of the Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, and we're going to really be talking about we're on the cusp of going into our holiday season, you know, like November and December ish, and even into January. And this kind of brings up so much stuff and angst for a lot of people, especially those of us who are empaths, intuitives, and highly sensitive people. We're like, oh, the holidays. Oh, my. It's just like, oh, how do we get over this? Well, today we're going to be talking about, um, Holiday Harmony for the Sensitive Heart. And, you know, today we're going to work on and look at how we could reclaim the joy of the holiday season um, and to kind of look at, you know, self-care type stuff that's really important that I think many of us fail to uh, integrate into our lives, in particularly when we are during the holidays, because it seems like many of us are overextending ourselves in one way, shape or form, be it emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically, and financially as well. I mean, unfortunately, there's a lot of guilt and shame that kind of gets kind of threaded into this. I I just find this kind of uh, an interesting concept. So in Holiday Harmony, we're going to Take a deep dive into techniques and strategies to make your holidays not only stress-free, but also deeply fulfilling. Um, Whether you're tired of holiday chaos, overwhelmed by family obligations, or simply looking for a more meaningful celebration, let us guide you on a journey towards balanced self-care and joyful festivities. Um, We need to unwrap the gift of self-care, okay? The holiday season is often often leaves us feeling drained and disconnected from our true spirit of celebration. It's almost like we kind of separate ourselves from ourselves in order to like go into automatic and into doing mobile uh, realm, as I as I call it. Um, Holiday Harmony will show you how to prioritize your self-care, ensuring that you enter the holiday season with a sense of vitality inner peace, and a renewed sense of joy. And really, that's what the holidays are about. It's about a celebration of of joy, of possibilities, of new hope. The other thing that goes with this is setting boundaries (laughs) Um, and savor memories. Setting boundaries doesn't mean shutting people out. It means creating the space for authentic connections and cherished moments. In our episode today, Holiday Harmony will equip you with the communication skills and mindset shifts needed to establish healthy boundaries without guilt. So these are like two important things that I really feel um, are the essence of I want to say keeping you in check and knowing that you're going to celebrate the holiday on your terms instead of what everybody else expects of you. And I think that's the important thing to remember. So often we give our power away to something outside of ourselves, and sometimes it's other people's opinions of what we should and should not be doing. Who made that up? I mean, who made that rule up? You know, when you kind of dial back, sometimes it's just, you know, how our family always has always done that. And it's like an ancestral thing that carries through, you know, time and space that continues on. And sometimes it's good to revisit some of these things and just say, is this really working for me? And how is it 
is it adding to my life or is it really taking away from it? And there's no shame or harm or anything in that. It's just just doing what is right for you and what feels right. And I'm going to accentuate the feel part of it. Too often we get, you know, into, <laughs> I want to say the storm of the holidays where everything seems to accelerate and things are speeding up. And, you know, it's almost like being in a washing machine on the spin cycle. And, you know, you come out and you look like this, you know, matted down shredded thing that is just like, what the heck happened? This is like what it's like for some people when they go through the holiday season, they're fine when they go in, they go into the drama of all the holiday and the chaos and everything else, the good, bad and the not so good stuff. And at the end, they look like this wet rag that is just like, that's all wrung out and wrinkled and stuff. And you're like, what the heck happened? So that's a great visual for a lot of people. And we want to make sure that we enter the holiday systems on gentle cycle versus, you know, normal cycle or, or speed wash, if you want to call it that. Um, go on the gentle cycle, like we're hand washing things and being gentle and caring with your most delicate laundry items as you you move through um the, the season because there's really a lot when you pull back and look at the bigger picture of what's going on it's about really celebrating what the holidays are supposed to be without all the drama and the chaos i feel it's a time of like inner reflection where it's like you kind of go within go within yourself and just feel and appreciate and be grateful for what you've experienced and inclusive of the things that you label as not so great. It's all an experience. And, you know, we have to remember, we always have choices. We may not think we do, but we do. Okay. You may be experiencing something that you're just not really happy about or you're just dug in with your resistance that you're like, well, this can't be so. And I just, you know, you almost go down the rabbit hole of being a victim and wanting to, um, you know, make something right or or trying to force something and push a boulder up a hill and trying to make something happen that maybe is not supposed to. But yet you're going to gosh darn it, I'm going to make this happen. So things like that are, are about, you know, just pulling back and reflecting and how you're showing up and the choices that we make and where we're putting our energy. And the holidays, it's just the, the perfect, you know, um, opportunity to, to practice some of the tools that you've learned and put them into play. I think what is really kind of comical, and I could say this now tongue in cheek, is like the holidays, you know, brings a lot out, especially if we have families. And it's like the old saying, ah, family. <laughs> it's like sometimes you could read between the lines and sometimes, you know, families, you know, there's a lot of drama in families. You know, I, I've heard some of my clients say that the only way I could survive is to to drink heavily before I go. Well, that's a possibility. Um, maybe there's some other possibilities. I kind of think medicating yourself with alcohol so you could survive the holidays may not be such a great choice. I think there's other possibilities. It is a choice, but I think there's other things that you could look at and possibly explore. I find that holiday stuff sometimes has the tendency to up the ante, meaning that it kind of people who are in their patterns of wanting to control things, it seems like it gets dialed up a few notches so they're even more controlling maybe, or that's our perception of it, especially when people have agendas about holidays and stuff like that. So what is the sensitive soul to do with all of this, you know, overwhelming information? I'm going to say this, boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. And did I say this? Boundaries? Yes, it's boundaries. It's about setting boundaries. 
And this was this is going to be a, a wonderful time for you to start setting boundaries. And what I mean by this is that how often we get invited to go do something and you're like, eh, I'm not really sure, but out of obligation or maybe you feel like you're going to disappoint somebody if you don't show up. I'm going to invite you to just pull your energy back and just say, you know what, is this something that I really want to do or not? And if it's not a hell yes, then it's a no. And be okay with that. There, there are times that I've had to, during the holiday season, be selective in where I want to put my energy. If I'm not excited about doing something, I just don't show up out of obligation because what happens is that my energy is like half-baked. So if I show up someplace half-baked, it's going to present that energy. And that's not really a good thing to, you know, you know, add that energy to the event. I'd rather just stay home and and spend time with myself or maybe do something else. If you're, this is where I teach people that it's about lean, you know, lean wherever you're being led or leaning into, by all means do that. It's like following your intuition on things. Not every party is like a party you should be going to, <laughs> you know, and if you think it's true, I invite you to pull yourself back and ask why, what, why do I want to go to this? And what, you know, what am I uh, wanting to accomplish with this. Sometimes we show up out of obligation versus whether or not we truly want to be there. So I invite you to honor that within yourself because believe it or not, that's self-care. When you could actually say, um, well, thank you, you know, and you do it graciously. Thank you for the invitation. Could I possibly get back to you later? I can't make a decision at this time. And um, or just say, if you know for sure that it's not something that you really are aligned with, instead of feeling um, guilted, shamed or even obligated to do something, just say, you know what? I'm really not feeling it. I'm going to take a pass on that. But thank you so much for the the invitation. It's about how you deliver it and but being true to yourself as well. Um, you know, yeah, you could probably react to something or, you know, but you know, what, what's the point of that? You know, when we are able to respond and step into our power and say what is on our hearts and what we want to do, it's very liberating, not for yourself, but also it allows the other person to um, see where your boundaries are as well, even though they're energetically there. And if they kind of react to what you're saying, you know, you have to remember that's on them. That has nothing to do with you. It's like maybe what they're dealing with and what they've have been dealing with maybe on an unconscious level that they're not aware of it, but it's like you're choosing not to get, enmeshed in that which is really huge you know it's about setting boundaries and you know being okay with who you are and where you're at and really not giving a rat's ass what other people think because they really don't care we make up these stories in our heads and it's just like really <laughs> and you know we all catch ourselves too and it's just like you know what I'm not feeling aligned with this I'm going to choose myself first and put myself first and do my own self-care and out of self-care, not show up. And that's self-care in the essence. So we're going to go, I can't believe it's already time for our first break, but we're going to go and, and uh, you know, listen to what's, what's going on on the break here. But also when we come back, we're going to talk more about things that you could do to really um, unwrap your self-care during this really holiday, precious holiday season. So see you when you come back. Do you trust your instincts? Many of us don't. Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. 
Tune in to the Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazzino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for the Dr. Dolores Show Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to Dolores at drdoloresfazzino.com. Now, back to the program. Well, welcome back. And we're talking about holiday harmony for the sensitive heart. And with the upcoming holidays, you know, on the horizon over the next couple of months, this is the uh, opportune time to start uh getting ready, getting yourself ready to be able to joyfully celebrate the holidays. Before break, you know, we were talking about um, setting boundaries and practicing self-care. And just for those people who are hopping on right now, you're listening to the Dr. Dolores Show, and I'm Dr. Dolores Vizzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And I help people... um, Bridge the physical with the spiritual and the invisible with the visible. So, you know, we were talking about practicing self-care and self-care is so important, especially for those of us who are empaths, intuitives and highly sensitive people. Self-care is important for everybody, but even more important for for us because we feel things very deep differently. We're wired differently and we just need more TLC for ourselves. I think one of the most important things to remember is so many of us have a tendency not to be planted in our physical body. And what I mean by that is that we're in our heads thinking and worrying and trying to figure things out and contemplating the past and, and trying to figure out the future. When we are there, we are not in the present moment. When you're not in the present moment, you can't be right here, right now. So how do we do that? How do we get from being in this headspace that where all the jibber jabber goes on and how do we get connected into our physical body? It's about grounding our energy, okay? It's grounding here and moving it down into our physical body and planting it into the earth and imagine you have your feet are roots of a tree and the roots are extending into the earth. It's about keeping our energy and keeping us anchored into our physical body. Now, let me tell you something. When we do that, you're able to be in the present moment right here, right now. For those people who are really squirrely about, um, not being able to be fully present. They're in their heads a lot. And you know who you are. We all flip out of being fully present. I do it. And half the, you know, and other people do it as well. Half the battle is realizing that you've done it. Then you could do something to change that. It's that simple. When you're awake enough to where to be aware of where your energy is or where your process is, this is where your power comes in that you can make a different choice. So for those of you who have that um, squirrel mind, you know, like it's like the dog that 
that is doing something and all of a sudden they see squirrel and they're like, they get distracted very easily. This may be a process that you may want to consider. Um, I offer a guided meditation to ground you in the present moment. It's on my website and I invite you all to get a download of it. It's like a five to seven minute meditation. It's guided and it gets you grounded in your physical body and you will definitely feel a difference. And you could go get that at um, www.drdoloresfazino.com forward, forward slash free dash video and you could get a download of that. What I'd like to do is just give you a brief taste of what that's like. Um, so you have an idea of what it's like to be in the present moment. So a grounding technique, let's do this, okay? So make sure that you're a, in a real safe place. And I just invite you to not be driving your car or doing anything that is requiring your attention so you can't be fully present for the next five minutes. Right now, just close your eyes and just take a deep breath and focus on your breath and exhale and take another deep breath and slowly blow it out and exhale and take one more deep breath and slowly blow it out. Just return your breathing to your normal inhale and exhale patterning and know that with every inhale that you make and every exhale that you take, you're going to be getting deeper and deeper into more relaxation. There's nothing to do. So right now from your solar plexus, that area that's one inch above your belly button, I'm just going to invite you to just put your energy there and just experience what you're feeling without judging or criticizing it. Just observe. Are you feeling constricted or expansive? Is there a color there? Is there a feeling sensation? Maybe a word, a phrase, whatever is there, just acknowledge it. But right now, I'm going to invite you to drop a grounding cord from your solar plexus down both your legs, down to the bottoms of your feet, out of the bottoms of your feet, down to the center of the earth, and there's an anchor there. Just attach that anchor, the grounding cord to that anchor, and just allow your energy to flow down there. Next, from your solar plexus, go up through your body, through your chest, through your neck, through your head, out the top of your head and way out into deep dark space where there is a star with another attachment where you could hook your grounding cord up there. So what you may notice as you are stretched in to Father Sky and Mother Earth, you are actually more physically present in your body than what you were a moment before. So next, from your solar plexus, just move your physical energy from your body beyond your body by about three feet. And the same thing on the other side, left side to beyond your physical body by three feet as well. As we are pulling your energy in another dimension, you're actually even more physically present than you were a moment before. And lastly, just envision a beautiful golden orb of radiant energy that's about three feet behind your back and just allow it to expand and grow and expand and grow. And then when you're ready, just allow it to move towards your physical body, through your physical body, out in the front of your physical body and beyond by three feet as well. So what you may notice that you're even more physically present right here, right now. So I invite you to go back to your solar plexus and just feel what it feels like in that space. Maybe things have shifted and changed. Maybe they haven't. But remember, no judging or criticizing. It just is what it is. And when you're ready, just come back to this room in place and wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes and just allow yourself to be fully present. So did you notice a difference? You're fully, it's, it's a different experience. It's like you're here, but you're also in other parts of the room as well. I have a tendency to think that you're probably not you know, thinking at all, you're probably just being. This is what it's like to be in your body in the present moment and to experience what you're experiencing right now. So this is a very effective grounding technique and it really didn't take that long. It took maybe about three minutes. 
very simple steps, and you could do this on a regular basis just to be fully present. Another way to be fully present, too, is to just put your hands over your heart space. When you have a tendency to put your hands there, it draws your energy to your heart. And just take some deep breaths from that area. It's called heart coherence, but it's also an ability to anchor you into your body as well. Especially when you're feeling really overwhelmed, just do that. I think it'll make a world of difference for you. This will help with your stress, lower your anxiety, because the stress and anxiety is when you pop out of your body, your physical body, and you go in your head and you start down that rabbit hole of worry, stress, or whatever. This is where your power comes in and you have a choice. So just I invite you to do that, and I think you'll be very pleased with the results. And just be kind. You know, you may not feel things changing immediately. You may. And it's a process. It's not a one and done. You have to remember it's like taking baby steps and, you know, changing maybe the way that you've thought about things or the way you've done things. It's a process. So take one step in front of the other and keep moving forward. It's that easy. So, you know, when we are able to ground ourselves, when we come from being in the present moment, it opens up a whole set of possibilities that probably was not there prior to that. Okay. Because we're out of, we're in the present moment. So we're not missing possibilities. So from that space, I invite you to make your decisions to whether or not attend a party or not. So you're fully in the present moment and probably more in reflective observing mode instead of react mode and then living to regret something later. So, you know, planning your life and organizing it and just allow yourself the possibility to be spontaneous, because let's face it, you know, it's about being in the moment and being in the moment is being spontaneous and, and allowing yourself and giving yourself permission to experience things. Maybe that, you know, you have put limitations on yourself to not experience I know for many of us empaths, intuitives, and highly sensitive people, we probably experience so much. It's like, it's like, please, quiet. I'd appreciate that, you know, because it's like the oversense, overstimulation and, and sensitivity. You know, if you need to go out in the world and go shopping, maybe going to the mall, you know, well, we don't really have malls anymore. Everybody buys everything online, you know, it's just like, so that really helps a lot of us people who are of uh, wired as an empath, intuitive and highly sensitive person. But any place where there'd be crowds, like, you know, if you're going to a festival or if you are going to a concert or, you know, some type of big event where there's lots of people, and lots of stimulation and energy, that may not be the best place for you. If you're not feeling 100% yourself, sometimes the last thing you want to do is go someplace where it's going to overstimulate you and just feel like it's it's sucking the life out of you. That may not be the right thing to do. So, you know, just be mindful and, you know, do some planning, but also allow some space for spontaneity and to, you know, give yourself permission to change your mind. If you said no one time and now you feel like doing something, by all means, do it. And vice versa, if you wanted to do something and now you just not feeling it, honor that. It's okay. And, you know, I'm going to invite you to drop the whole idea of worrying about what other people think, because you know what? They really don't care. <laughs> we make up this story in our mind. And, you know, it, it's just, you know, it's like, wow, I made up that story again. And that's an interesting story. It's probably not even true. When you could kind of look at things from that perspective, it's like it's very um there you could see the humor in the in it and you know how silly this really is so you know um holidays are really interesting things in interesting times and if you're just tuning in you're listening to the dr dolores show i'm dr dolores Fazino, nurse practitioner medical intuitive and energy whisperer and we're going to talk more about 
holiday harmony for the sensitive heart when we get back and more things that you could be doing, but we'll, we'll catch you on the other side of this break. So to stay tuned and we'll be back. Do you trust your instincts? Many of us don't. Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. Tune in to the Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for the Dr. Dolores Show, Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific, on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Fazzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also send an email to Dolores at drdoloresfazzino.com. Now, back to the program. Well, welcome back, everybody. You're listening to the Dr. Dolores Show, and I'm Dr. Dolores Vizzino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And we've been talking about holiday harmony and the importance of, you know, those of us who have very sensitive uh, aspects, we're either empaths, intuitives, or highly sensitive people, and how we can maneuver through the holiday system with more fun, spontaneity, joy, and grace. Um, and we talked earlier about setting boundaries and practicing self-care and doing a grounding technique and how do you could plan and, you know, plan and also be spontaneous, um, but more like learning how to be in the moment with everything. And that's a great metaphor for anything in life. You know, I think avoiding overstimulation is key and knowing when you're being overstimulated and what causes you to be overstimulated is huge because it's more of a self-awareness aspect. And it's so essential for us as being in the present moment as well. Um, you know, the other thing we talk about surrounding ourselves with people who are um, like minded, your tribe, if you want to call it that, your sisters from another mister, your family that you you didn't chose you didn't choose to be born into, but that you're creating. It's like uh, surrounding yourself with people who are going to be supportive of you and embrace you and you know offer you encouragement and and love basically, and they value and respect you. You share the same values. Um, if you're the person who's planning stuff, you know, it's like delegate out to other people. You don't have to do it all yourself. And listen to that again. You do not have to do it all yourself. Invite other people to come and help you. Ask for help. This is so essential. We forget to ask for help. And I'll be going to take this a step further, you know, from a spiritual aspect, how often do we think we're alone and we forget to ask for help? Nobody can read our minds. And plus, you know, from a spiritual aspect, we're here of free will. So the other side can't really come in and intervene unless we invite them. Same thing in real life. It's like people aren't mind readers. If you're having a challenge with something, I invite you to be brave enough just to say, you know what, I could really use your help and support. 
Are you able to do X, Y, and Z and not be attached to the outcome? Because maybe it's not in that person's capability to offer you help right now. Saying no doesn't mean that they're not available. Maybe it's no, no right at this moment, no, but, you know, ask again later and that might be a different story. So please, please, please don't forget that. Ask for assistance and help because it's there for us in many sh ways, shapes, and form on the physical, but also on the energetic and the spiritual as well. You know, this is um, an interesting thing. For those of you who are aware of this, I do a lot of speaking and a lot of podcasts and summit. And there's this wonderful summit that's coming up called um, Embracing Your Human Capability. And it's with, um, oh, gosh. I'm going to send some information out, but I'll be speaking on healing in ways you never thought possible. It's looking at four different pillars that make up the, the superhuman um, summit. And there's a, the mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. So I'll be speaking more on the physical in regards to looking at healing in ways you never thought possible by looking at what we could do in the physical, but integrating some of the other aspects as well. And this is coming up on November uh, 10th through the 13th, and it's a virtual summit. And I will post some of that information on um, my website and also on my social media views as well. So if that's something you're into, I invite you to, to go explore that. It, it will be definitely worth checking that out, especially when we're trying to Delegate and seek help. This might be a great opportunity for you to explore some other possibilities to open your mind to new things, because that's what it's really all about and getting out of your own way. Circling back to the holidays, you know, we all have traditions and maybe it's time to review some of the traditions that we have. Are they really speaking to your soul? Are they really necessary? Is there a new tradition you want to implement? Be flexible, be creative, look at the possibilities because they're endless. And, you know, allow yourself to create the holiday that you want on your terms. I think we talked about this earlier. It's like this time of the year brings a lot of reflection. And with reflection comes, you know, looking at what we're appreciative and grateful for in our lives. Because we know with the law of attraction, what you focus your attention on, you create more and more of. So even though we may be experiencing maybe some bumps in our road, or some challenges, I invite you to um, witness that and observe that in a different way and see if you could stretch yourself, maybe if you are feeling that it's, it's impossible to do that, but stretch yourself a little just to see where something good has come out of that. What kind of gold nuggets are there for you? Because I know that we have a tendency to focus on the negative sometimes of what's not working. But out of that, sometimes wonderful things happen. And we are just so honed in with our blinders on that we are missing the bigger picture. Um, so practicing gratitude and appreciation for everything that you have and have experienced um, is 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 something that it's that time of the year and we seem to focus on that more. So I invite you to focus on it even more now, but carry it through your whole entire year. It'll be a game changer for you because you'll just be witness to more and more what we call aha moments, maybe miracles and maybe even more things to be appreciative and grateful for in the future. Um, I love the idea that, you know, when we're in the holiday bustle, sometimes it's cool just to go outside and just take a walk at night and to just look at the lights on other people's houses or just go someplace where you could spend some quiet time, you know, of course, being safe, quiet time, you know, just looking at the sky and just the twinkling of the lights um, can 
grace you with, you know, the peace and the essence of that there's really more going on and we are really here. Um, we're just here for a nanosecond of who we are in our higher self essence, if you want to call it that. We're here just gathering information and, and having experiences and gaining wisdom through these experiences that is allowing our soul to enrich at a very deep and profound level. So when you connect with nature, it brings you into the present moment as well. You're right here, right now. And it allows you to ground that into your reality even more so. You know, connect with, you know, being empaths, intuitives. <laughs> it's like there's this thing called being empathic without absorption. So it's about an energetic boundary that allows you to be in your empathic state without taking on all the um, the energy of the person's experience and what they're actually experiencing as well. I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's like offering support to people with it's maintaining your emotional boundaries. So being present for people without getting sucked into their drama. It's like, it's like holding a space or holding a container for them to be as this person to be as they are without you, without it seeping through the uh, cracks in the container to come to you, to suck in, to, to drag you through. I hope I gave you the good visual on that. I think I did. Well, anyway, so when you're able to hold a container for somebody and, you know, allow them to be as they are without you energetically taking on their stuff, this is called um, empathy without absorption. Another thing, too, is how many people have a tendency to overgive. Are you one of those people that thinks that, oh, my God, I have to give more and more because, you know, I just feel like I need to. I invite you to reel yourself back a little bit. Are you giving and, find, and just check in with yourself? Are you giving from a position of hmm, guilt? maybe shame, maybe trying to please them or get their attention. I invite you to be mindful in your, in your gift giving because sometimes when we are on automatic with that, all of a sudden we look at our, our financial statement and you're like, Oh shit, what happened? And you know, it's like we, some people just go into debt financially but you know what they're going into debt emotionally mentally spiritually and dimensionally it's just like are you giving from you know i just invite you to look at the state of mind you are and where you're giving from and how you're giving because sometimes we over give to compensate for other things in our lives so something to be aware of not to you know judge or criticize anybody but just be aware just be mindful of that and because that's where another boundary comes in as well you know we look we talk about boundaries boundaries are there's a lot of boundaries there financial emotional mental spiritual physical whatever the other thing too maybe create a sacred space for yourself you know some people really um, love decorating the tree and make it really sacred and special for you or, you know, set up a certain area in the house, whatever that is. I know for me, for the longest time, it was very challenging for me to put up a tree just because there's so much effort for that to go up and then I have to clean it up. Like, you know, and I, for a while I didn't. And it's like over the last several years, I made it something sacred for myself that it was about me connecting with an aspect of myself and celebrating that um and so when you're able to create a sacred space you're able to tap into the essence of maybe what the holidays are truly all about and particularly for you so I invite you to be creative and try something different. You know, we um, 
always think that holidays have to look a certain way. They got to be boxed a certain way. And you know what? We're in such a time in humanity's development that we're moving and shaking and, and creating and looking at infinite possibilities of of other things that are possible. So please tap into that creativity. So for those who are checking in right now, you're listening to the Dr. Dolores show and I'm Dr. Dolores Fazino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, energy whisperer and fellow empath intuitive and highly sensitive person. And we're gonna go for a break. And when we come back, we're gonna talk more about creating more holiday harmony for you during this most um, special time of the year. We'll see you when we get back. Do you trust your instincts? Many of us don't. Yet this is the key to connecting to your innate healer within and your intuition. Tune in to the Dr. Dolores Show with nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer, Dr. Dolores Fazino, to receive insights and tools to realign with your inner wisdom for lasting health and true wellness. Listen for the Dr. Dolores Show Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is the Dr. Dolores Show with Dr. Dolores Fazino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. To participate in the program, join the live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also send an email to Dolores at drdoloresfazino.com. Now, back to the program. Well, welcome back, everybody. Um, you're listening to the Dr. Dolores Show. I'm Dr. Dolores Fazino, nurse practitioner, medical intuitive, and energy whisperer. And we've been talking about holiday harmony because we are amongst the holidays. The next couple months, we're going to be celebrating you know, here in the United States, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Kwanzaa, um, past, you know, uh, Hanukkah, and, you know, some other things that are happening too. And of course, there's the new year. But it's just like many of many people who are empaths, intuitives, and highly sensitive people like myself, the holidays could be like um, something that we dread. And so, you know, by talking on this episode today, we just shared a bunch of ideas about how you know you can maneuver through stay grounded stay present make choices on your own terms to um have the holidays that that are on your terms and you know make them memorable for you so you know we're talking about before the break we're talking about you know create sacred spaces you know i'm going to continue on if you need support or anything definitely ask for help if it's just planning a party or if you're you're in the, you know, you're feeling a little depressed or anything, please ask for help. Reach out. It's so important. You are not alone. And it's important to be able to ask. You're worthy of asking for, for what you need. Um, and, uh, you know, creative, you, creativity is huge. Do anything you can to, you know, be creative. There's uh, when you're in your body and we're talking about being grounded in the present moment, you're right here right now. And that's so essential. The thing to remember is stay true to your values and reflect and set your intentions. So important. One thing I'm going to add here is remember, it's essential to prioritize your well-being and take the steps necessary to maintain your inner peace, balance and joy every day of your life. But in, in particularly during the holiday season. Tailor what we've told you today to your needs and preferences, and don't be afraid to adjust your approach as needed to make the holidays a more positive and enjoyable experience for you, yourself, and other people that you celebrate with as well. So next week, we're going to shift gears a little bit and talk about scalar energy healing. And I have a guest, and his name is Tom Palladino. And what's interesting about scalar energy healing, it's actually, um, I call it like a quantum energy healing. And it's scalar waves, but it's also uh, Tesla technology. And next week, we're going to be talking about um, Tom and Tom's experience with 
um, scalar energy healing. He's got some interesting um, concepts that he shares. And when you're in the quantum field and you're doing this type of energy healing, you don't have to be physically present. It's, it's as if it's a, it's, it's dialing into your energy and it's assisting you. Um, just a little bit about next week's show in this captivating episode, join us as we dwell deep into the world of scalar energy healing with the renowned expert, Tom Palladino, discover the remarkable power of scalar energy and how it can transform your life. Tom Palladino shares his insights, techniques, and experiences in this eye-opening conversation about healing and vitality. And I really feel this is like, uh, we're on the cusp on the doorway of a new way of healing and well-being. And I'm so excited to be able to have Tom as a guest. We're going to learn how everyone, no matter where they are in the world, can be treated through this power of a simple photograph. Tom Palladino unveils the fascinating science behind, behind scalar energy and how it can transcend geographical boundaries to promote well-being. To me, that's just something that is mind-boggling and also where we're actually going in the future. So tune in next week, and we're going to be talking more about that and just a little more about Tom. He is a scalar energy researcher based in Florida. And he is um, the foundational life force. Uh, found, he, he, scalar energy is the foundational life force found everywhere in the world, space, and the universe. And it originates from the sun, stars, chi, prana, om, mana, life force, pyramid energy, or zero point energy, which are synonymous terms for scalar energy. So, he has theorized that all energy in the universe initiates as scalar energy and the sun and our solar system and the stars and the universe are all points of origin or the storehouses of this energy. So stay tuned next week because I think this will be a real interesting conversation and also some offering some possibilities for healing, as I say, in ways you never thought possible because really it is you know, another possibility and an aspect, you know, we're in exciting times in our evolution um, of humanity. And along goes with that, just, you know, looking at different possibilities and technologies that maybe have not been available to us before, but now are because energetically we're raising our frequency and vibration enough for it to be able to be seen and accessed. But something to, to contemplate and, and to ponder over and even to, to sit in, in meditation with. So please stay tuned for next week's episode, um, Scalar Energy Healing with guest Tom Palladino. You won't be disappointed, I'm sure. So, you know, circling back to um, holidays and harmony, I just invite everybody just to really focus on taking a deep breath as we move into the next segment of our year, because it's really an opportunity to really connect with parts of us on a deeper level and to come into our true authenticity, uh, authenticity and our genuineness and be who we truly are at a very soul and deep level. It's about bringing those parts of us and integrating that into our current life and being and embracing that and being totally okay with that and knowing that you're safe and you're protected and you're worth it and knowing that you can create anything that you really want. You just have to start believing and believing in Miracles, believing in possibilities, and just believing in what can be instead of focusing on what can't be. So just know that you are loved more than you could imagine. You are worth it. And you can create anything you possibly desire. And just make the holidays that are on the horizon, some of the most memorable 
special and sacred experiences of your life. Bye for now. See you next time. Thank you for listening to the Dr. Dolores Show. Dr. Dolores returns Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Mountain, 12 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until then, remember to be kind to yourself and create your best life. You are worth it.